Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mikey Millions here, and today we're gonna to be covering something extra special. This Halloween, we all had a once in a lifetime opportunity to witness control the narrative go his way into the Wall Street Bets Hall of Heroes. We all watched this young man's soul leave his body, but he left us with many questions unanswered. Who is this brave man? How did he get so much leverage? And what can we learn from this? Well, what can I say for control the narrative that he can't say for himself? <clears throat> Our hero's humble origin is likely a story you've heard before. An edgy teenager joins Reddit to discuss capitalism versus socialism as though he's ever worked a day in his life. He sought to control the narrative by asking a number of inane questions, such as, if you agree to the fact that you have a boss, then why do you support voting? How can we bring more democracy, socialism, and distribution to the bedroom? How can I invest in companies that don't employ women? And he mocks the working poor by recommending that they simply quit their jobs to become independent contractors. You might get the impression that Control the Narrative is a simple, common Redditor with no purpose or direction in his life. And I think you'd be right. But at least he didn't have a compulsive gambling addiction. That is, until he found us. Things took a turn for the worst when Control the Narrative decided that margin trading was literally free money. And what many of you likely don't know is that Control the Narrative's Guh video was not his first kerskuffle with Robin Hood Gold. In the weeks prior to his epic moment, he actually borrowed a ton of money from Robin Hood in order to trade FDs on Microsoft earnings, leading to the loss of over $30,000. Goodbye, he said, and thanks for the reality check. Now the average person might shy away from options at this point after such an experience, but Control the Narrative is not the average person. Did he learn from this experience? No. Somehow, Control the Narrative dug his way out of his margin call, and literally three days later was back to borrowing money from Robinhood to buy FDs. But this time, he did it while exploiting a loophole with Robinhood Gold to maximize his leverage and he apparently continued exploiting it until he was sufficiently leveraged for his personal risk tolerance, a ratio of approximately 25 to 1. And thus, a legend was born. But what was this loophole? And how did Control the Narrative exploit it? Let's take a look. The loophole was simple, but very efficient. Control the Narrative leveraged Robinhood Gold, Robinhood's stock platform, and Robinhood's options platform, to create a loop that artificially increased his buying power to sky-high levels. He began by approaching Robinhood Gold to reapply for access to margin. They asked, aren't you the guy who just lost $30,000? Yes, he said. Yes, I am. But I'd like to re-access margin, please. Robinhood said, well, in order to access margin, you have to have at least $2,000 to deposit. Well, fortunately for you guys, I have $2,000 right here in my pocket. And with that simple exchange, our hero got access to Robinhood Gold, which allowed him 2 to 1 leverage on his balances. His $2,000 deposit now allowed him to borrow up to another $2,000 from Robinhood, bringing his total buying power to $4,000. With four grand burning a hole in his pocket, Control the Narrative now had enough money to buy 100 shares of AMD and still have some money left over. He opened up Robinhood's stock trading platform and purchased 100 shares of AMD. That'll be $3,200, please. Our man handed over the loot, much of it borrowed, and got himself 100 shares of AMD. And what can you do with 100 shares of stock? You can sell covered calls. Our leveraged friend went on over to the options exchange with his 100 shares and sought to sell covered calls. Selling covered calls, Robin Hood said. That's a wise strategy. And what strike would you like? Two, he replied. Two dollars. That's quite low. Uh, are you sure you understand the obligation to sell at your strike? I know what I'm doing. Uh, well, if you're sure, I assume you have some sort of plan in order. Let me simply refer here to the options chain. Sir, it appears as though the premium for such a strike is $3,288. We can give that to you in cash now. Would you like to proceed, sir? Do you want to sell this covered call? Let's do it, our hero replied, and with that, he turned over his 100 shares of AMD to sell one covered call at the $2 strike. In exchange for doing so, he was awarded the premium of $3,288.
On a more serious platform, the chain would have ended right here. The brokerage would have realized that Control the Narrative's new cash balance was simply its own money laundered through its own options platform to appear as though it were the client's money. But this is Robinhood we're talking about. So when Control the Narrative sold that deep in the money call option and put the premium into his cash pile, Robinhood was none the wiser, and this next step actually took place automatically. Robinhood saw about $4,000 in cash in our man's account, and since he had Robinhood Gold, it leveraged him 2 to 1 and doubled that buying power to over $8,000. With that much buying power, he went back to the stock platform and bought 200 shares of AMD for about $6,400, all of it with his artificially inflated margin. 200 shares was enough to sell two covered calls at the $2 strike that together awarded approximately $6,576 in premium. Once again, this borrowed money appeared to be Control the Narrative's own after he laundered it through Robinhood's options platform and added the premium to his cash pile. As you might predict, Robinhood had no idea its money was getting laundered and simply saw over $8,000 in cash in our boy's account. Robinhood Gold once again leveraged him 2 to 1 and doubled his buying power to above $16,000, enough for 500 shares of AMD. Control the Narrative ponied up 16 grand of laundered money, bought 500 shares of AMD, went back to the options chain, and sold 5 more covered calls. I think you can see where this goes next. Control the Narrative repeated this brilliant ritual several more times, and through each iteration, he doubled his buying power through Robinhood Gold's 2 to 1 leverage. Our hero did not stop until he was sufficiently leveraged for his personal risk tolerance. For him, that meant reaching 25 to 1 leverage and carrying $50,000 of buying power. On his last lap around the loop, Control the Narrative skipped buying shares and went straight back to the options platform with over $50,000 in borrowed funds. Back to sell more covered calls. Nope, I'm here to buy a few Apple puts. Let me guess, 5% out of the money? Expiring in two weeks? Actually, I'll take half of them at 7% out of the money, and I want them all expiring on Friday. This Friday, sir? Two days from now? Yep. You know they call those faggy Ds. And we're locking in the trade. It was in that moment that Control the Narrative committed himself to bankruptcy. Apple's earnings report pleased the market, and our hero's puts bit the dust. Let's hear that epic moment one more time, just for fun. <clears throat> so, where do we go from here? First, we need to take the crown from Irony Man and coronate control the narrative. He's clearly peak Wall Street bets. Who wants to be king? And now that the Robin Hood free money glitch is common knowledge, Wall Street bets is just itching to exploit it. Do you want a million dollars on margin? Will we buy an entire company by performing a hostile takeover with laundered Robin Hood funds? We shall see. The attention Wall Street Bets got from the Gov video hitting Reddit's homepage, and the 800,000 views it got on YouTube, and on Bloomberg, have together brought a lot of fresh, vulnerable users to our favorite subreddit. But no matter where we go as a community from here, let's make one promise to each other. That will never, ever change. Thanks for watching this video everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. We do a bunch of other things on this channel too, so if you'd like to check out my 3K challenge, run through Wall Street Bet's hottest trades, or learn some new strategies, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with the action. Catch you all later, and thanks for watching.